One thing about me is I'm gonna show up as my best self. And that also reflects on my appearance. That hair will always be done. My eyelashes will be done. The lip gloss will always be applied to my lip. And the stroke top will be tucked in, boo. For another job titles. Nurses have lives outside of work. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. And here we talk about nursing. I am a BSN registered nurse. And today I want to talk about nursing for the aesthetic. Have you guys heard about that? It's like a little trendy topic going on on the internet. And basically... People who were not in the medical field mainly, and then people who are older or whatever, are saying that most nursing get into nursing for the aesthetic of it. Like they don't have no compassion, they don't want to take care of their patients, they're just there for the look. Now, I am double fenced about this topic because I do believe there are some people who do it for the look, like the, the new aesthetic. Um, we're going to talk about that aesthetic. Um, I do work with a couple nurses who they don't know what the hell they be doing. They just want to wear the tight strubs, um, have the Stanley cups with the strub cap, you know, be a pretty girl and have the title of being a nurse. That person do what makes you feel happy, whatever. But I also want to come to nurses defense because the thing is, if you're not a nurse or if you're an older nurse, I feel like y'all opinion is skewed. For multiple reasons. I was little. A nurse didn't have an aesthetic. You get what I'm saying? Like, what was a nurse aesthetic? Like, what y'all want us to be? Florence Nightingale coming to coming to work? Like, what was nobody could say? Oh, this is like the nursing started back. You know how like in the military they got that their military started back. You got the Camaro, that about a Hennessy um, starter pack, and you know your wife like. It didn't start until like recently after COVID. And I feel like nurses didn't get an aesthetic until black people started getting into nursing. And then that's when it became a problem. And I'm going to say it because nobody else ain't going to say it. I feel like anytime that we get into a profession, there always is a problem the way black women show up. Whether it's that's through our attitude, our appearance, like everything is always a problem. And then that's when word of work becomes an issue. Because one thing about people that have known for centuries, black people are going to do the most. That's just how it is. It's just in our blood to do the most. And I'm standing on that. Let me watch your old movie since nursing is an aesthetic to the history of this. The other day I was watching this old show. I forgot what the show called, but it was a medical show. And I could have sworn back in the day, nurses used to wear these white dresses with heels with heels like and they saw they makeup done they hair snatch and i'm gonna show the picture like real cute like coming to work like it was really like there was that girl makeup done hair snatch just had that little white hat a lot the white dress and it was pressed you could tell it was pressed and they used to have white heels with stockings on now y'all got a problem with our fitted strubs our athletic wear strubs but there was never an issue back in the day when you would see the white lady with the dress with the white dress on with the white heels on and in the, the stockings with the little hat on it gave florence nightingale right because I try to figure out in what Asian day besides that era, like me being a nurse, I don't think I can ever be a nurse in a dress. Like, could you imagine co a patient with a dress on? So like I said, I want to get back to it. I feel like the nursing is an aesthetic thing became a problem when black women got into the field. Because when this was the representation of a nurse, it was never an issue. So now that we got that, that race issue out the out of the window let's get into the real topic so i also want to just talk about um how people forget to realize that nursing is a job you know it is a job whether you want to believe it or not it's not a personality trait job j-o-b you hear me so my personality the way i carry myself the way i show up in the world does not cease because i'm at work so i mean your personality is, is going to always peep through when you're in a professional place whether it's good or a bad thing so if a nurse likes to look nice she likes to do her makeup she likes her hair done she likes her lashes she likes her nails done she likes her cute little scrubs and she's going to come to work with all of that why is that a problem for people and it's usually the people who are either old that are in nursing or people of non-medical um personnel it's usually non-medical personnel that have this issue with us Boom, whatever whatever y'all say whatever make y'all happy right and sometimes when i clock into that bitch i'm immediately brianna depending on what day it is i just got critical thinking skills and a little degree behind my name but I am still my own person. Y'all trying to put us in this cookie cutter box and it doesn't make sense of how we should look. How should we talk? Like what background should come from? And when we don't look like what you think we should look like, it's a problem. Because I, I didn't know being a pretty girl 
you know, was a crime. I didn't know being a pretty girl would affect the way that I care for my patient. It will affect the way that I critically think when it comes to my patient. I didn't know that was a problem. When when did beauty and brain stop coexisting? I thought we threw out that notion. Like I said, somehow those are athletic drugs are really, really rubbing y'all the wrong way. And I say this because I've had good and bad experience when it comes to my appearance at work, uh, whether it be from patients or coworkers. One time I had a coworker. She was an older lady, maybe like in her 60s. Me and her are like good friends. Like I respect her. But she, she just a typically old grumpy lady. Like, and I, and it's just me having the most intelligent in the workplace. I was not finna win that battle with her. And I had no intent on trying to argue with her during the time. But basically this lady told me that my strubs were unprofessional. She said, Bray, I feel like your shrubs are unprofessional. What you wear to work is unprofessional. And I put you to say, how? How is my shrubs unprofessional? She was like, well, to start off, they're tight. I said, you know what's funny is? I'm not the only person who wear these shrubs. But because of the type of body that I have, that's why it's a problem to you. I said, see, she has on the same shrubs. Do they look unprofessional? She appeared to tell me no. And I already know. Her issue, it wasn't the shrubs. It's just because it was on me. Like, I have a body. I'm 5'9". I have this going on. And I'm and down here, I am, you know. So, in the shrubs, it's, it's giving silhouette. And that could rub people the wrong way. So, I felt like she was low-key sexualizing me. Like, you know, I, that's what I felt like. Because... There's multiple women in that workplace that wear those same brand of strugs, but it's like a problem when it's on me because the type of body that I have, right? And I told her that and she admitted to that bias. She definitely had bias. And she was like, well, I just feel like y'all young girls be wearing these strugs, which y'all be trying to get attention of the doctors. And I proceeded to tell her, let me tell you something. The way I carry myself, the way I decide to show up in this world has nothing to do with a men's validation. Ain't nobody want these old ass men. And even if they ain't old, ain't nobody want these doctors. I do not eat where I shit. You get what I'm saying? What? Well, I'm out, man. She proceeded to say, well, when I was coming up, we didn't have to wear this type of stuff. We didn't have to dress like this. And I said, I understand you wouldn't agree with me. And I'm not going to try to fight this viewpoint because you came from a, gen a different generation. Your generation, you guys did dress more modest. And that was during that time. So I could see how you feel the way you feel. Now, you know, old people, sometimes they have no desire to see things from your point of view. And that's fine. But me having that emotional intelligence in the workplace. I wasn't looking for her validation, nor for her to agree with me. I just let her know that I understand where you're coming from. And I can see how you can see that my shrubs are unprofessional. And I'm sorry that makes you feel that way, right? Because I'm not going to change the way I dress because you, boo. I'm just really sorry that that makes you feel that way. So that was one of my negative experiences that I had with a coworker. I also had a negative experience with a patient recently while I was working in the ICU. The patient is something. In the ICU, we like our patients intubated and sedated. So when you start talking and you move in all your extremities and you're neurological, ne neurologically intact, you're ready to be downgraded, boo. You're not as sick as you. You don't need to be in the ICU. So this patient kept on the call like, wasn't even my patient. I went in to help the patient. Big man, really big man. Like, you know, I'm thinking he he basically want to help just reposition it. So I said, hey, I can help you, but it's just me. So I'm going to need you to help me out. And usually if my patient is bigger, I'm not about to throw my back out for you. So basically I just told him to take his arms and kind of pull himself up while I do a, some of the work. He told me that I needed to go ahead. I thought I was too cute and that I needed to cluck out. And I was just like, are you serious? Let me tell you what I learned over time of just being human. Anytime somebody say, I think I'm too good. I think I'm too pretty. I think somebody tells me that I know that stems from a place of insecurity. And one thing I know, we do not fight against flesh. We are fighting against spirit. It's, and the spirit of insecurity is not one thing I'm ready to take on in this lifetime. Not ever. Not now, not later, not in the afterlife, right? So right there, I immediately realized this man is insecure. So he wants to attack me. For the, my parents and the way that I come to work because he thinks that I think that I am too pretty to help him okay? and I just throw it out a suggestion that would better help both of us because he's a big guy but he clearly had a problem with it so I walked out and then when I walked out and his actual nurse came in to help him he was still talking shit about me later that day he kept so somehow I made an impression on him because he remembered my name um, and let me remind you when I went out I didn't even tell him my name so he kept calling my name from outside. Bree, Bree, Bree. Like he just kept calling my name. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say all that. And I'm just like, no. And then he told the nurse to tell me to, that he apologized. I'm like, no, I'm not helping him. Like I'm done with him because 
he didn't have to say all that. It made me feel type of way, but then I realized this man is insecure and people are going to think how they think. And I've been going through this my whole life, which leads me to another topic. Y'all got to stop sexualizing nurses. Just because we wear our scrubs fit does not give you the right to sexualize us. Just like if a woman's walking down the street, she has on shorts, doesn't give you the right to rape her, right? <laughs> Like I said, people wear things that shape their body in all professions, whether that be to church and y'all love corporate jobs. This is everywhere. And like I said, I am a nurse. The Strohs is my uniform in the hospital or wherever I'm working at is a workplace. So I like you go to your corporate job and look presentable and look nice. I'm trying to figure out how does how is it not the same for nurses if i or any of the other nurses that like to come to work looking presentable i cute being that girl now if they came to work like they rolled out of bed would this even be an issue with no it would not be now don't get me wrong there are many nurses that do come to work like they roll out of bed i work with a lot of them but guess what that is their prerogative and everybody comfortable looks different right so i it's not up to me to be judging them because that's the way they want to look when they come to work but just know how does my comfortable make you uncomfortable it's all i'm saying how would me a nurse a person who's supposed to take care of somebody Show up to work looking a mess like I rolled out of bed. If I was a patient, I wouldn't trust myself. Coming to work like I rolled out of bed to take care of you looking like I don't take care of myself. That's crazy. That is diabolical. When you come in there and you have to do your discharge education and you're telling them about being overweight and diabetes and you're clearly overweight. They, I know they're looking at you like you're a hypocrite. Like, you know this disease better than anybody. And some people are type ones, which is a little different. Some of the patients be like, how the hell are you going to tell me this? And you look, I seen you outside smoking on your, on your break. You telling me about coronary artery disease. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like, oh, like, come on, spare me the details. Now, like I said, there are pros and cons to looking nice, i.e. present. I'm going I'm to use presentable because y'all may think bitch is a little cocky if I say cute. Some patients really appreciate it. Like, pride in your appearance. Got many compliments from patients. I had even one patient call me the glamorous nurse because of my, my lashes. And maybe you care about your appearance more than you care about them right so they automatically distrust you and i've had it where family members in fact as soon as i come in they're sizing me up and they're like she a nurse and the first thing they start doing is questioning everything i do because now they're trying to test me like do she know what she's doing those family members that take notes right unfortunately it can go anyway but like i said we're living in a very shallow shallow world people so let me know down in the comments if any of you have experienced this have you feel like you are being prejudged because the way you come looking to work let me know are you are you a nurse who looks presentable at work or you're a nurse who likes to roll out of bed and tell hey yeah, this unit gonna get whatever i'm giving that day and honestly either way there's no right or wrong it's just whatever makes you comfortable you get what i'm saying they make strokes for all kinds so y'all let me know in the comments have y'all been uh, what do y'all think about the nursing for aesthetics do y'all believe that this is true or you think people are just judge judging people i see both sides of it it is what it is and unfortunately both sides can be right right because sometimes i do think on, on social media some of you nurse influencers made it in a step and whatever get your bag like y'all sell nursing like y'all selling nursing y'all selling nursing content to younger girls or other portraying that you could live a certain lifestyle or you have to look a certain way or have a certain stanley cup or a certain bob bag or you know a certain shoe you know little uh sock shoes like you have to have these things to be that girl in nurse, right and so i think that's where nursing for the aesthetic has came into play because of the way pre people present it on social media and i've made a whole video about this and it's called stop glamorizing nursing so make sure y'all go check it out and what i want to say is glamor glamorizing nursing and looking presentable at work are two different things right because when you talk about glamorizing nurse it's glamorizing the work itself Nursing is not a glamorous thing. When you talk about looking presentable, that comes from a person's a person's personality. Like they were, probably was doing that way before they became a nurse. So, I, and like I said, nursing is not an aesthetic because there's nothing cute about changing ostomy bag. There's nothing cute about calling a patient, and there's nothing aesthetically pleasing about wiping shit. Like the champ is here.